And before I introduce the awardees for their presentation, I would like to take a little time to explain about the awards committee and how the process of awarding works. The award committee consists of 13 members, and there are four subcommittees within these 13 members, a subcommittee on medicine, is engineering, science, and technology innovation. Let me request, see if we can get the, the, the slide on the, on the screen here. Okay, these are the awardees, and this is the committee. The way the committee operates is they receive the nominations in late April, as a matter of fact, April 30 is the deadline. And each of the subcommittee reviews the nomination submitted for engineering, medicine, science, and technology innovation. The subcommittee, sometime in May, will, through the conference call, will review all the nominations submitted to them and selects three to five nominations. These three to five nominations then are sent to external reviewers. Generally, they are academy members outside the state of Texas. And they're given three weeks to give us the reviews back uh, in a written form and as well as rate them. After we collect all the material, we meet as a committee, and this is the committee, and the reason you're seeing me here on the podium is because I chaired the committee last year. And the committee meets in August in Austin and reviews all the nominations and all the reviews that we have received. And generally, based on what we have judged as a subcommittee, each subcommittee, what the reviews come back, and then the full, as a committee, selects the awardees. So as you can see, uh, let me go, to, there's one more step. After we select the four awardees, then they are sent to the Committee of Nobel Laureates, and Dr. Joseph Goldstein chaired that committee last year, and they review it, and they okay it, our recommendation, and submits it to the board. Board in September then approves what we have submitted or can come back and we can revise it. So you can see that the process is a long process and the awardees that you're listening, going to listen to them today, have earned their $25,000. It didn't come easy. A word about the O'Dano Award. This is the O'Dano Endowment. And if you do not see your name on it, you have the opportunity to do so for next year. You can't do it right now. You can give the money right now, but your name will come tomorrow, next year. And one other item that on your chair, on your table where you're sitting, you're given a card like this. This is if you know somebody that you would like to nominate, just fill in this card and leave it at the front desk at the registration, and they will send you a reminder sometime in February to provide the nomination as well as the nomination information. So this is to give you an idea quickly how to get nominations in. <clears throat> 